Hey, how's it going sports fans? I'm Lauren Vickers, senior staff writer of the FSVU, and today I'm sitting here with Monte Brandon, senior guard of the men's basketball team. How are you doing? Doing well, really good. Thanks for having me. Good. Um, so you guys have your first opponent in the books. Based on everybody's expectations of this team this year, how well do you think you executed on Monday? I think we did very well, especially offensively. Um, we took advantage of fast opportunities. Um, the new guys acclimated well, and our defense was, was strong as well. And it's your senior year, mm -hmm. your final season. How does it feel? Um, I feel like time flew by, honestly. <laughs> I remember beginning of my freshman year all the way to now, so it's like, whoa. But uh, it definitely feels good, um, especially the team we have. I feel like we can do something great this year. Are there any things you feel like you need to accomplish this year for your final season? Um, just get Florida State basketball back to how I was before I got here my freshman year when they won ACC championship. So that's, that's the main thing, just to put them back on top where, where we were. What does that mean to you, FSU basketball? Um, from what Coach Channels built it to it now, it's a program that's on the rise. Um, a program that people need to definitely look out for. Okay, so it's your final season, mm -hmm. your final chance to make the NCAA tournament. Right. Where's your head at with that? I mean, that's, that's the number one goal right now, um, making the tournament. That's all we talk about, me and my teammates, the other four seniors with me. That's all we talk about is making the NCAA tournament. And is that drive any different than years past, or is this something that's new to being a senior? Oh, no. Nah. Every year you want to make a tournament, but we had, we've all, each year I've been with something's went wrong or injuries or something, but this year we finally had the depth and um, everything that can get us over the hump to make a tournament. As a senior, you're a leader on this team. How exactly do you lead your teammates? Um, just by example, I'm um, trying to do the right things on and off the court. Um, basketball watch is my work ethic. And then, you know, just being there for them, going to get food sometimes or hearing what they're going through, especially young guys. You got class, you got athletics to worry about now. So it's definitely an adjustment period for them as well. So I try to help them out with that too. So reflect back on your past three years being a part of this program. What has been most special to you? Uh, I guess just the experience to, to play in the ACC. You know, not a lot of people get the opportunity to play ACC. And for me, being here three years and starting three years, basically, since I've been here, is, um, it's probably a dream come true. Additionally, I'm sure you know this, you've gotten the past two um, consecutive Unsung Hero Awards at Honors Banquet. Why do you think that your coaches consistently recognize you as the Unsung Hero of the team? I mean, because I do, I do a lot of things that the – Casual fan won't see. I mean, my game isn't flashy. You know, I kind of do like the kind of the dirty things or the small things, guarding other teams' best player. Or if I had to play point guard at night a little bit, playing point guard. If I got to play power forward at one night, I'll do that too. But just whatever they ask me to do, I've always done that since I've been here. So you you seem very you seem very humble. Are there any um, hidden talents that you have that you're not bragging about? I can draw. You can draw? That's my natural talent. Oh, I just okay. naturally can draw, literally. So do you draw people or landscapes? I, mean, I can draw anything. I draw anything. people. I like drawing, like, like little teddy bears. And oh. stuff. <laughs> do you ever do portraits of your teammates? Nah. No, I, okay. I wouldn't do them like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so before we wrap up, we're going to play a quick mm -hmm. game of Would You Rather, okay? Okay, cool. Would you rather play one-on-one -on -one with LeBron or 2K with Kobe? I'd probably play one-on-one um, -on -one with LeBron. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you starred in the movie, you were the lead role, would you rather it be Love and Basketball or Space Jam? Space Jam. Space Jam, yeah. okay. Would you rather have shade thrown at you from Marshawn Lynch or Richard Sherman? Marshawn Lynch. Lynch. Yeah, I take Marshawn Lynch. You don't want to take on yeah. Richard Sherman. Yeah, no. And finally, would you rather hit the Quan or hit the Nene? -nay? The Quan. I do not know how to do the Nene. -nay. You don't know the Nene? -nay? No, no. I, I think quan. I can do the Nene. I can Quan all day, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's all the time we have left for today. But you can catch Monte and the rest of the Seminoles in their second exhibition of the season next Monday in the Donald L. Tucker Civic Center. For the FSVU, I'm Lauren Vickers. See you next time.